Hi, my name is Dave Gerhardt. Welcome to episode 15 of percussioneducation.com. Thanks so much for all your great support. I've been getting some great emails and some great feedback, so keep them coming. I really appreciate it. Today, we're going to continue on with our bounce rudiments, and we're going to start talking about the double stroke roll. Okay? Now, one thing that I want to stress is when we start working on roll rudiments, that you use some kind of a drum. Either it's a drum, a snare drum, either from your drum set or from your concert snare drum, or try and use one of the Remo snare drum pads, okay? Anything that has a real head on it. Try to avoid working these on a rubber pad, a real feel, or some of the other pads that are out there, okay? And the reason I say that, especially as a beginning student, is you wanna make sure that when you're doing these exercises that you are controlling the stick. When you practice on a rubber pad, you are letting the pad do most of the work. And you wanna make sure that when you are playing a roll rudiment that you're developing that on a drum surface, okay? The rubber pads have their place, and this is something I'm gonna be talking about in an upcoming episode about all the different kinds of pads that are out there. But for developing the roll, especially as a young student, I would try as much as possible to try and do it on a drum. Either a real drum, like a snare drum, or on a drum surface that has a drum pad head, some similar to the uh, Remo heads, okay? So today we're gonna continue on. We're gonna talk about double stroke rolls, okay? Double stroke rolls primarily are used in the marching medium, um, and they are executed with one arm stroke and two bounces, okay? We do use them in the concert playing, and then they do occur in marches, Sousa marches, in any kind of stylistically uh, appropriate music uh, with the march uh, genre, okay? So we've got, one arm stroke, two bounces. Okay, and you can either do that with your arm or with your wrist. We will talk about that more in an advanced episode. Um, I primarily use my arm to get the bounce. And when we start talking about concert style rolls, I will go into the development of that, okay? So, one arm stroke, two bounces. If you're having a problem getting the two bounces, back it up and make sure you go back to episode 12 and make sure you work on just letting the stick bounce. I find when we start to uh, get smaller amounts of bounces, whether it be two or three, the student will try and do two real quick motions. But it's gotta be one arm stroke, two bounces. Say it over and over, one arm stroke, two bounces. I find this especially true of music ed students who are uh, taking percussion methods. So if that's a problem for you and your teacher says it's a problem or you notice it, make sure that you, number one, just make sure the stick can bounce. And then go smaller, do the four, do the three, and then go back to the two. The main thing is that you're doing one arm stroke, two bounces, okay? So the double stroke roll is just right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. And as we speed that up, at a slower speed, I'm gonna do individual strokes. Okay, one arm stroke, two bounces. And you should be able to hear each of those individual strokes. It shouldn't be, it should be. Okay, each one of those strokes should be very distinguishable and make sure that we hear all of those strokes. And as a matter of fact, when we start going into the other rudiments, those are gonna be very important that we hear those, okay? So making sure. People used to call this the mama dada exercise. Mama dada, mama dada, mama dada, mama. Okay, making sure that they're nice and even. One arm stroke, two bounces. That's the key for this episode. All right, thanks so much. We will look forward to seeing you on the next episode of percussioneducation.com. Take care. 